Hey YouTube, what's up? This is Ben from ShouldIGetIt.com and in this video I'm going to be showing you the installation process and a good amount of sound clips of the Borla exhaust that I got for my 1991 Mazda Miata. It's an NA. It's pretty much stock except for an intake and now the Borla exhaust. And this, as you guys can see, is the old exhaust. So this is 26 years old now. It actually wasn't too bad to get off. And I know you don't want to sit through a whole video of me and my friends installing this, so let's get straight to the sound clips right now. First off, we have the stock exhaust system, the startup and revs. It's probably what your car sounds like right now. Let's listen. <laughs> Now that you guys heard the stock setup, it's a 1.6, keep that in mind. Here's what it sounds like with the Borla exhaust on startup and rev. So there are the sounds and now we are going to move into the installation process and I did this with the help of my friends Sean, Gary and Michael and so we are going to move into that. It took about an hour, hour and a half maybe inside of a garage with uh, three guys and then after that I'm going to play even more sound clips for you guys to enjoy from the car, from a GoPro on the back of the car and uh, a couple of flybys. So stay tuned for the rest of the video and if you have any questions leave a comment down below. Now let's get started with the install. The install was really easy and the hardest part is actually getting the old exhaust off. Thankfully Gary had a garage we could work in since it was over 85 degrees outside and I brought all the tools and the exhaust over. I actually had to use my Mini Cooper S, which is also equipped to the Borla exhaust, to get the Miata exhaust over because the box, although it is very small for an exhaust, it's a little bit too big to fit in your Miata, so keep that in mind if you're going to do this at a friend's house. So first, what we had to do was get the car, of course, on jack stands in all four corners, get under it, and then we moved the stock exhaust gasket. So that's from the cat all the way going back. So we removed the gasket at first. Thankfully, my gasket wasn't all messed up. It just came out really easily. And at that point, we just undid the bolts from the cat going back, and then we had to deal with the hangers. So you could see that we removed the hangers starting from the front going back. And my recommendation with this is if you can't get the particular hanger off, move on to the next one. And by the end, you'll have all of them off. You have to, to remove the old exhaust. So we tried using a flathead screwdriver. It didn't work out very well. So we just you know kept pulling and tugging and it broke loose, thankfully. And the rubber hangers still stayed intact. What you can do also, and what I did the day before actually, is spray down the hangers with WD-40 uh, in the actual insert part where the metal meets the rubber. That did seem to help out a little bit, but just be very careful and don't forget to wear eye protection and gloves if you want underneath the car, but definitely wear eye protection. So once we got all the hangers off, we lowered the exhaust and then we pulled the old exhaust out to compare it to the new one. So as you can see here, the new setup, the tip is actually about the same size. It's just a lot shinier and it weighs a lot less. So this is about nine pounds that your car is gonna lose. And as you can see, it looks really good. Uh, I would honestly actually opt for a little bit of a larger uh, exhaust pipe coming out of the back. But as you can see, this keeps it looking very stock and very subtle and the sound is what really matters. So I uh, didn't care about it too much. This is the Mazda Miata exhaust, it's a $3,000 barbecue grill. As you can see, it's one long piece, and it pre-cooks chicken perfectly. <laughs> it's delicious. Then you can see in the back, there is actually a hole for a O2 sensor plug. So since my car is a 90, 1991, it doesn't have an OBD2 sensor, which means that the O2 sensor is actually in front of the cat. And so in my case, I just plugged it with the included bolt. Now, if you have a newer car, so if you have a 94 or newer, you are gonna be just plugging in your O2 sensor in there so that you don't get an air or check engine light uh, coming up on your dashboard. So that's super easy. Once we had that done, we connected the muffler to the pipe using the included hose clamp and we didn't tighten it all the way, we just kind of got them connected and then we went under the car and made sure that the exhaust was in the correct position and everything was at the right angle to attach it to the hangers and once that was done, we were able to fully tighten all the bolts going into the catalytic converter and going between the pipe section to the muffler and that way we were sure that it would fit. So make sure you don't tighten that early. So once all that's done, I would recommend starting the car while it's still on the stands, make sure everything sounds normal. 
and then all you have to do is lower the car and get it started. So what I did in this case was actually put the car back down on the ground. I had Gary push it out of his garage and had Sean start it and take it down the street so you guys could hear it. Rub it up. So just a couple of notes, the exhaust does actually start getting better sounding with time, which is awesome. So I put probably 300 miles on it so far, and it definitely sounds a lot better. And this exhaust is very subtle, so it doesn't sound that much louder under three or 4,000 RPM, but when you are at wide open throttle and the car is under load, it sounds so much better. And even when it's quiet, it's a, it's a very different tone and it sounds much, much nicer. It doesn't sound ricey at all. You can still be subtle through your neighborhood and come home at two o'clock in the morning without your neighbors hating you. So I'm a big fan of this exhaust so far. Make sure you check out my review, which is gonna be linked down below. And if you have any questions, leave me a comment and I'll try my best to reply. Also, if you are looking for a deal on this exhaust, feel free to send me an email, ben at benrevson.com, and I will see if I can get you in touch with Borla. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Peace.